Namaste. I extend a very warm welcome to you for this video. I share here my learning about impact of diet and lifestyle factors on health. It's about my experience from being diabetic type 2 and hypertension patient for 10 years to being free from all medicines, reversing diabetes as it is called. The purpose of this session is not to provide a road map for reversing diabetes and hypertension, but to emphasize the importance of modifying lifestyle factors to reverse diabetes and hypertension. I got free from both diabetes and hypertension in December 2010 and life without those tablets goes on with full force. In fact, it inspired me to learn about the science of diet and nutrition. I did quite a few courses on diet and nutrition. I continue to learn. I consult people face to face or online. I conduct half day programs. I firmly believe that anyone who achieves moderate level of nutritional literacy and willing to modify lifestyle can easily regain health. I am thankful to you for choosing to watch this video. Thank you so much. Well, here we find some of the risk factors associated with diabetes like family history, stress, low physical activity, etc. The fact is, diabetes is growing very fast worldwide. Many people just pop up a pill and tell others, it's okay, I am able to manage my blood sugar. No worries. Possibly we are not aware of the consequences of diabetes and or effect of medicine on our body. As we all know, diabetes is a silent killer. It is not alone. It always comes with friends like thyroid disorder, BP, obesity, etc. Well, now in this program itself, I briefly share my lifestyle, that is nature of work, food habits, exercise, etc. Now this I will share before diabetes and hypertension was detected and changes that were made afterwards. Then I describe the Eureka moment, followed by the tough learning phase. And in the end, what did I learn? What am I doing now? Well, I had been an academician all through, involved in teaching, research and practice. I have also worked with the industries. However, my job used to be very challenging and stressful. There would be constant pressure and we had to meet the deadlines. I used to consider myself to be healthy. I was a vegetarian and used to love milk and milk products and even fried food. With age, I had reduced the quantity of these products. Coming to exercise front, there was no regular exercise. I used to love walking but was not very regular about it. I had a family history in having lifestyle diseases. I had a very low level of scientific knowledge about diet and nutrition. Very low level of literacy about diseases. I used to believe that vegetarian diet is the best. I never did any test, never checked my BP. There were no health issues, so visits to doctors were very rare. When I started approaching 50, my family started increasing pressure on me to get tested. 
after daily dialing for few months in september 2000 i got tested for blood sugar next day i went to the diabetologist he checked other parameters and noted the things briefly the readings were my weight was 62 kg bp was 140 90 my blood sugar fasting was 131 after lunch that is bp was 204 so things were very clear to him he said it is diabetes type 2 and hypertension the doctor prescribed certain medicines for blood sugar cholesterol and triglyceride he also suggested me to go for low fat milk and also to go for a walk every day further he smiled and gave me a piece of advice well diabetes is going to be your friend for life it will go with you and what was my reaction i was quite okay i had accepted it i i thought that yes i have been under so much of a pressure and this could be a common thing now so i will take my tablets follow most of the guidelines and possibly what i meant was i will follow the convenient guidelines so life started again quarterly blood sugar testing lipid profile followed by visit to doctor ecg and creatinine once a year i was trying to follow most of the guidelines and i was very regular with medicines as well there would be some good news some bad news some medicines would get changed or new medicines would get added so we talk about the eureka moment in 2009 dr neil bernard an american physician researcher and author was in india i came across an article in mumbai mirror dated december 1st 2009 it was titled diabetes isn't a one way street the article featured an interview with dr neil bernard his book depicted ways in which diabetes could get rid of medication simply by switching to a healthy diet for me he was the first doctor who was asserting that there is a way out and it was just not an assertion he had published a research to support what he was saying one of the suggestions was to go for plant based food give up all animal source products like meat eggs milk and milk products it seemed quite logical the way it was written i did some search on the internet i read dr bernard's research work i gave a thought took some time and finally decided to give up milk and milk products as early as possible and i chose my 60th birthday which was very near when i announced this my relatives my family and friends were surprised with great concern they started telling me do not give up milk you may have health issues even ayurveda was also quoted i just told them look it is on experimental basis if i find it doesn't help me i can always come back but to me the research appears to be very convincing so i will go ahead and i did the normal quarterly blood sugar testing was immediately due so i got my test and went to the doctor along with other details i told my doctor that i had given up milk and milk products 
very recently and waited for a strong rebuke. But to my surprise, he said, Okay, really? In that case, we shall stop your cholesterol tablet. And after six weeks or so, you get test done again. If your cholesterol is high, we go back to the tablet. Else, just forget about it. And till today, there is no need for me to take cholesterol tablet again. Later on, I realized that all animal products have cholesterol. No plant products have cholesterol. And our body produces the cholesterol it needs. We need not add additional cholesterol. And this was an indication to me when the doctor said that, okay, let us stop your cholesterol tablet. Yes, I am on the right track. So, with great hope, I started to move ahead. But I had doubts as no clear guidance was available to me. I had neither read Dr. Bernard's book nor any other relevant material. I had not understood meaning of whole food plant best. I was also not using a glucometer to test my blood sugar every day or like that. And within few more days, I started having feeling of hypoglycemia. I was little afraid. I called up my doctor and told him. He said, okay, let's not go for it again. Now if you experience it, reduce your tablet as indicated. And progressively, my diabetes medicine started getting reduced. I was still not very happy. I still had the feeling that I am not still found out the right way. So I kept on searching on the internet and then found that Sharan, the trust from Pondicherry, has scheduled a one-day program reversing diabetes in Mumbai in March 2010. I paid the fees and attended the program. The program helped me to understand the concept of whole food plant best. Also, the science behind the approach and the care to be taken. In the follow-up program, I was advised to give up tea and coffee along with the artificial sweeteners that I used to in all my tea, coffee and like that. And I was using it for many, many years. I was very fond of Darjeeling leaf tea, which I used to take five times a day. I used to add a sweetener tablet every time. So giving, giving up milk was no issue as far as this tea was concerned. But anyway, I decided to give up tea and the sweetener both. When I understood the logic, I progressively started reducing one cup and within one month, I gave up the tea as well as the sweetener. Almost a month after, I realized that my cravings for sweets is no more there. In the meanwhile, I also got my vitamin D and B12 tested and started the supplements. So all these experiences, it was very revealing for me that I should know more and more about diet and nutrition. I was very curious to know about the biochemistry, how all these things are happening. So I started reading, I also started surfing on the internet. Now one of the query with me was why diseases happen to us. 
I understood that diseases can be broadly classified as CD or communicable diseases that is which are caused by microorganisms like virus, bacteria, etc. The other category is non-communicable diseases in CD where no germ is involved. Diseases like diabetes, heart, obesity, cancer, they all come under these NCDs and they are growing at an alarming rate. In 2008, World Health Organization brought out a report on NCD and it has found out that there are some main modifiable risk factors. They are use of tobacco, physical inactivity, harmful use of alcohol and poor diet. The non-modifiable risk factors are age, gender, and genes that is the family history. I could understand that it is possible for us to modify our lifestyle and to remain healthy. Taking tablets is like treating symptom and not the cause. On personal front, dietary changes and exercise helped a lot. Progressively, I understood what to do and tablets were getting reduced. I had started losing my weight also. Right from my 60 kg weight in December 2009, it had reached to 54 kgs in November 2010. I would jokingly say that I am losing weight and also losing my tablets. Well, now there was great and consistent improvement in all other parameters like blood pressure, lipid profile, creatinine, etc. By December 2010, my doctor stopped all my tablets for diabetes and blood pressure. Only vitamin supplements and one Ayurvedic capsule for diabetes remained. The frequency of this was also reduced. He advised me to progressively stop these medicines and of course continue with your diet and exercise. Get your quarterly test done so you understand where you are. All this was a great experience for me. I had never dreamt about it. Now all this sparked interest in learning diet and nutrition. So in 2011, I did SAC Diploma in Vegetarian and Vegan Nutrition. I also started working as a Vegetarian and Vegan Nutrition Consultant. I started Yukta Har for Health page on Facebook where I continue to share research based information on diet and nutrition. Please visit my page whenever possible. I did three more short term courses on my e-learning. In 2015 I did Fellowship in Applied Nutrition, which was being offered by Medversity and Apollo Hospitals Education and Research Foundation, Hyderabad. Now, as I was progressing, I was also interviewed by Mumbai Mirror in 2011. You may google 
put the brakes on your diabetes and you will find my two page interview. It can give you some more insights about my diet and lifestyle at that point of time. Well, now we come to the question answer session. I have conducted more than 25 such live sessions in various cities. And here I have selected the most common and the most important questions that are being asked to me. Now in the Indian context, the most important question is about milk. And people have n number of questions and n number of uh, different suggestions. So of course there are references to Ayurveda. It is being called as the most complete food and all that. Do you mean to say that you are, even the mother's milk should not be given to the child? Well, now one set of answers come from the source, a cow. And the cow has a very simple answer to offer. Not your mom, not your milk. So a very reflecting kind of a thing. It points out that actually all mammals and of course the mothers from the mammals they give milk to their child, kid, whatever we call, till the time it is able to feed on its own. And after that, that kid never again drinks milk of his or her mother or of mother of any other species. And in the natural condition, whatever food that they eat, we find that they are very healthy. They don't require milk again. If you are not sure on that count, let's take another important example. And this is also coupled with another question that where do we get calcium? Where do we get protein? Now look here. The young calf is having mother, having milk from her mother. Now once that phase is over, never again in the life an elephant will drink milk. And we all know in the natural condition what it eats. A variety of leaves, grass and all other things that naturally it is strained to eat. So that's what it eats. And now look at its body stretcher. Look at the size of the bones and the amount of calcium that an elephant would require. Look at the muscles and the amount of protein that it requires. Where does it get? So it is getting from the natural food that it is having. It also clarifies one more point that calcium is required for many living creatures. I include even the plant kingdom also. So it is required for most of the living cells. So calcium is available almost everywhere. So it's not that it is only available in the milk. And so is the story about protein. It is just our conditioning that is affecting us to take a decision. Now another question is Tell us what you eat and what it means is if I eat that will I be free from diabetes and any other lifestyle disease? Yes indeed, it's very difficult to answer such question in a small introductory session like this. However, one thing is very certain that what is required is to modify our lifestyle and not only the diet part of it. Secondly, a customized approach taking into consideration one's recent lab reports, lifestyle, what he eats. All this information is very important and it can really make a difference. 
one can really get an answer to this when all this information is available. So it's advisable that you better study the subject, experiment or get a one-on-one -on -one consultation from someone who is expert in this. From my own experience, I realized that a hand-holding is very much an important part of the story. Thank you all. Well, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel. I have given my link to the blog spot. Also visit my Yuktahar for Health page on Facebook. I am extremely thankful to you for watching this video. The research done abroad by medical researchers, it proves that yes, our food is very powerful and making changes in lifestyle can really help us a lot. My sincere gratitude to Dr. Nandita Shaha and Rupa Shaha of Sharan Trust Pondicherry for all the guidance provided during my journey. The team of doctors from abroad who have contributed significantly to finding the power of the food and the lifestyle to reverse diseases and to my family for all the support provided to me during the transition phase and all through. My very best wishes to you for a very healthy life. Sarve pi sukhina santu, sarve santu niramaya. Thank you.